On the 20th of April 1968, 9F92160 had a rail tour downgrade through Latchford bound for Liverpool. The station there had closed in 1962. An 8F 48191 is heading for Stockport 10 days before the 10th of April. The incline here would take the railway over the Manchester Ship Canal. Also heading for Stockport is 48365 of Heaton Mersey Shed. This was her last month of work, now 24 years old, having been built at Horwich in 1944. After a few miles westward, the line ran into Warrington. 48493 is approaching from Latchford, destined for the low-level route at Bank Quay, with a load of coal for Fedler's Ferry Power Station. This view was taken on the 21st of March 1968 from Sletcher's Lane Bridge. From ground level, another 8F, 48253 of Spake Junction Shed, heads a Class 8 unfitted freight past Arctic Junction signal box, destination Liverpool. This engine was built in 1941 for the War Department as number 376. She returned to BR in 1949. Emerging from Slutcher's Lane Bridge, still heading for low level, this 8F. The remains of the low level station platforms are seen, having closed in September 1963. Still with us today is Black 5 45305 running named as Alderman A. Draper after the man who preserved her. Here she is heading an inspection saloon still in BR service in 1968. Filmed from the unused platforms of low level, two 8Fs are seen with freights to and from Liverpool direction. They are 48723 and 48308, travelling under the West Coast Mainline Station at Warrington High Level. Four five three oh five again, but this time only with a solitary brake van. In the first few months of 1968, she was allocated to Spake Junction, Liverpool. Just south of Bank Quay, and on the east side of the West Coast Main Line, were the extensive Artley sidings. They could be accessed from Artley Junction, the up Main Line from Bank Quay High Level, and the down Main Line from the Chester direction. A 9F descends into the yards from Ellesmere Port, possibly Stanlow Oil Depot. Heading up to Acton Grange, passing Walknord Junction, an 8F on a train of covered vans. The bridge behind her carried the west coast line over the River Mersey.
also climbing up to the bridge that carried the line over the Manchester Ship Canal at Acton Grange Junction is Black 5 at 44680. The key station opened in 1868. Nearly 100 years later, it sees Lostock Hall's Black 5 45227 heading south in ideal filming conditions of a bright, fresh morning. A down train runs through Bank Key's platforms, having descended from Acton Grange. About to climb up to Acton Grange is 48334. Horwich built in 1943. Some attention has been given to its front end appearance with white paint. There were good sidings on the east side of Bank Quay, just after Liverpool Road Bridge. The trains leaving this yard could be viewed from the station platforms. Wigan Springs branch engine 44679 departs in 1967. Further up the platform, we see a Caprotti valve gear fitted standard class 5, 73134, leaving the yard. On a brighter day, 73141 also leaves. These two Caprotti engines were allocated to Patrick Croft Manchester, a shed and location visited earlier in this video. The water tank seen here would soon be removed. One other thing about Warrington Bank Key Station was its atmosphere, a permanent aroma given by the soapworks of Joseph Croxfield and Sons Purcell factory on its western side. Wiggins 45296 pulls in with a parcels train on the platforms opposite these works. North of Warrington on the west coast main line is Winnick. This is a four-track section 